19 handicap wants to improve the backswing and get to a better top position, ultimately leading to less fades and slices. As you can see that path cut across the ball from outside to in. So let's go back to the setup and take a look. First thing is that your shoulders are aligned slightly left or open to the target. That can also want to draw the path following your shoulder plane left or outside in. So try to bring your left shoulder more forward, right shoulder more back to square your shoulders from that setup position. That may draw your hand and hand path more to the inside, but given your setup being a bit upright, more bend from the waist could lower your shaft plane just a bit as well. Using that lower path line, let's see where your club will be drawn on the takeaway. Hands are working nicely around the body with a good uh, bow in that left wrist, keeping the face square to close. So a very draw biased takeaway, not bad. Uh, but from P2 to 3, that lead knee is flexing down and in quite a bit. Get back to that in a second. But continuing up to the top, we see the little bit of lack of shoulder tilt, but overall not bad with the left arm staying straight, trail elbow tucked in, and face again staying pointed up to the sky in a closed draw bias position. Overall from here I wouldn't say that this is a big slice type of movement, but with that left knee flexed down and in as much as it is, you have a lot of movement or opening of the hips to do to get back down to the ball and that left knee begins to straighten up, opening your hips and causing that club to be casted well over the top. So if you were to reduce your knee flex in the backswing, you'll reduce the overall length of your backswing, but be less likely to have to open up your hips as abruptly, and that causes the club to get steep from there. So not the most complicated move, but it will feel rather awkward as you limit your backswing, Try to keep the left, uh, left heel down a bit more. That should help straighten out and reduce knee flex. So good luck with that move. Sendaswing.com for your golf swing analysis.